In this video, I'll show you how you can create this creative image layout in your WordPress website by using Elementor. And when you hover on these images, you can see some detailed information about each of these images which is moving with your mouse movement. Cool, right? And this is also fully responsive for our tablet and mobile devices. So you can apply this unique and creative thing with any kind of your image area by following this tutorial. So without further ado, let's quickly create this. So here I have already created this page with an heading section. So after that to create this section, let's click on this plus icon and take a three column layout. And inside our first column, I want to take an image widget and let's upload an image. Okay, then from the style tab, first of all, I want to make this image width to 100% and also make some border radius and after that to create this hover area we need to take an inner section so let's drag this under this image and we don't need our this second column so let's delete this and inside this inner section you can place as many widgets as you want but here as i want to create a client testimonial section so i want to take a company logo and then also want to add some text and to add the client's name we also need this heading widget and also take another one for the designation okay now first let's change this image to this company logo and make its alignment to the left side and here i also want to add some maximum width for this image 125 pixel then for this paragraph, let's change its color to a more dark color. Also reduce this font size to 15 pixel. Then for the setting, here I want to write down the client's name. Let's change its color to this blackish color. From the typography, let's make its font to the power pins. Make this font size to 18 pixel and also make the weight to 700. And for our this second heading, here I want to write down the designation. And then from here, I want to copy its style and paste it to here. But for this heading, I want to make it more lighter. So from the typography, make the font weight to 500, make it more small, 13 pixel, and also make a more light color. Okay, then go to this inner section settings. And here I want to add some box shadow. So from this border, let's make this box shadow color more transparent and change this vertical direction to 10 and make it more blur. And here let's also make some border radius 10 pixel and also give it a background color to white. And from this advanced tab, let's give some padding 20 pixel but on the top and bottom, let's make it to 30. Okay, now that looks good, but we need to adjust the spacing between these items. So for this paragraph widget, let's make some negative margin at the top and bottom. And here we also need to reduce the spacing at the bottom. So let's make some negative margin also here. Okay, now that looks perfect. So our first image section has been done. So now I want to duplicate this whole column. And let's drag this to this very end. Okay, we don't need this remaining column. So let's delete this. And now here I want to change this image and other content. So to change this, choose another one. Also replace this logo. And let's change this client's name. So basically you can change individually each and every content for each of these sections. Okay, now if we look at our this final result, so we have placed these two images inside our left column and inside our right column. And for our these remaining images, we will place all of these inside our middle column. And inside this middle column, we have placed these two images inside an inner section and these two images to an another inner section and inside each of this inner section we have take two columns on the left and on the right 
and inside these columns we have placed our images and other content okay so that's a pretty complex layout okay let's see how can we do that so first of all for our this first and last column i want to reduce its width so from here i want to make it like 23 percent and also do the same for this one and then inside this middle column first of all i want to take an inner section and inside each of the column of this inner section i want to paste this whole thing so from here let's copy this parent column and paste it inside this inner section and do it one more time let's delete our this remaining empty column okay we have done these two top images and for these top images we need to take an another inner section so let's right click on here and just duplicate this okay and now here like before i want to change the content of these sections so let's quickly do this okay we have changed our content now i want to make it to look like this so for this first of all i want to go to this image settings and from this advanced tab we need to add a class with all of our these images so make it to image dash hover let's copy this class and do it with all of these images and then we need to go to this our top section settings and from its advanced tab we need to write down some custom css and by the way to use this custom CSS feature you have to have the Elementor Pro so if you didn't have Elementor Pro you can quickly get this from my link on the description so let's paste our code to here and now our this text section has been removed so right now I want to place this image in perfect position so first of all go to this first column settings and from here to make this image vertically centered let's make it to the middle and also do the same for this one make it to middle and here for our this middle images here i want to make this column bigger so make it to around 66 percent and for our this column i want to make it with our second column 66 percent okay but here you can see this image goes at the top so to make it bottom go to this column settings and make its vertical align to the bottom now everything looks good but lastly we need to adjust our spacing so first of all let's reduce this to here so go to this column settings and here by default we have 10 pixel of padding so make it to 0 and also for this column make it to 0 and we also need to reduce this spacing so here this gap is basically comes from the bottom margin of this image so we need to fix this by going to this column settings and make this widget space to zero and also for this column let's make it to zero now everything looks good but i forget to make some padding of this section so here for this section settings make some bottom padding okay and here i think we need to reduce the height of this image so from the style let's make it to 400 and when you set a specific height don't forget to make the object fit to cover to maintain the aspect ratio okay and also do the same for this image so make it to 400 and make it to cover so lastly to add our this hover effect we need to write some custom javascript code so let's take an html widget and drag this to anywhere of your page and let's paste this code and here you also don't need to worry about this code snippet i will give all of this code snippet to my website from here you just need to copy and paste this code on the right place okay so now if we hover over on this we can see this amazing effect okay now if you go back again to our this section settings if we look at this our custom css code here we can see we have set the width of this inner section to 350 pixel so from here you can also change this value like 500 okay and here is also the top and left value so this value is basically the distance 
from the intersection to your mouse cursor. Okay, now this layout looks really amazing. But here, if we hover over on our this last image, you can see sometimes this intersection goes outside of our page. So you can fix this very easily. Just from here, let's copy this portion of this code and click on this image. And let's try to click on here and open the navigator. So this one is our image. And after that, this is our intersection. So we need to go to this intersection settings. And from this advanced tab, here we need to paste this code snippet. And here instead of this 20 pixel, I want to move it to the left. So make it to minus 300 pixel. Okay, now if we hover over on this, it has been moved on the left side from our mouse cursor. Okay, and here we also don't need to modify these two values. So we can clear this. Perfect. So basically, if we go to this section settings, from here, this top and left fellow will be applied for all of our these images. And if we want to change any specific value for any specific images, we can also do that by going to this image in our section settings. And we need to specify that to here. So now everything looks good on our desktop. Then I want to check this for our tablet devices. So go to this tablet mode. And here everything looks good, but we need to reduce the image height. And let's also do the same for this one. And I think we need some padding on the top and left. So for this section settings, we need to add some padding on left and right. Now this looks perfect on tablet. So let's finally check this for our mobile devices. So for mobile, I don't want to keep this hover effect. I want to place this inner section content right after these images. So to disable this hover effect, we need to again go back to this section settings. And here we need to paste our last portion of this custom CSS. Okay, now that looks good. But here we also need to fix our this middle column as we take some intersection here. So we can see we have created some more padding. So let's remove this from this column settings, make it to zero and again go to this column settings and also for this one, make it to zero. Okay, but at the bottom, let's make it to 40 pixel. Also do the same for this column. Forty pixel, and lastly, also for this one, make it to forty. Okay, and lastly, we also need to increase the height of these images. So here, make it back to four hundred pixel, and also for this one, four hundred. And for our first column, we also need to make this bottom padding to forty pixel. Okay, perfect. So that's how we can make this cool image hover section in Elementor. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.